I'll get $150. So literally just some tables will just give you 150. Some tables will give you 120. What's the, what's the difference? Obviously the 120 is worse. Um, but the 120 ones, those tables are usually like lower limit. Uh, they're okay with you like betting like $20 instead of like a hundred. Uh, so I told Scar like, Hey, I don't want to bet at a table that has like really bad house edge. So Scar was like, okay. And then we walk over to the high roller section. It's like, there's like a, there's like hundreds of people on the main floor. And then Scar and I walk into this private room or with Chris and it's just, it's just us. It's so scary. And the minimum is $200 per hand. We're like, Oh my God, this is, this is the price. If you want, if you want to play good odds blackjack, hello Gooby Booby one. Thank you for three months. Yeah, if you want to play like the highest odds possible blackjack, where the house edge is only like 05 percent, you got to bet two hundred dollars per hand. So, I look at my wallet. I have a thousand dollars. Scara has like fifteen hundred, and Chris has a thousand. And guess what happened? Go ahead, guess. I was pog the pace. They, the casino staff said I have never seen somebody walk in and lose all their money that fast. I nonstop, I pulled out $200, two, two chips please. The dealer like confirms that the, the chips are real or the $100 bills are real, gives me two chips. I put it in, uh, boom, boom, 10, six. Dealer gets blackjack. Okay, <clears throat> another $200 please. Okay. Boom, boom, 10, five, dealer has 20. I hit, I bust another 200. And this happened in like two and a half minutes. I lost my $1,000. It was nuts. On the other hand, Scara was straight up smurfing it. Scara won like six hands in a row. Every time the dealer had 20, I would bust. Scara had 21. It was nuts. He's, he's like, he's got a 14. He's just like, yeah, just, just give it to me. And then seven, he was nuts. Scara went from $1,500 to about 3,000 and then he did something listen I like gambling but he did something that I would certifiably say is insane uh he randomly got bored and he put $800 on a hand uh and then he got an 11 uh and for those of you who know anything about blackjack when you get an 11 against the five you double that so he puts another $800 in Sixteen hundred dollars on one hand, and then you you can only get one more card. And the reason you double on the eleven is because you're very likely to get a ten. All right, so they give him the card face down. Sixteen hundred dollars on one hand, and then the dealer holding a five, showing a five, ends up with a twenty. So only a ten gets him the win. A ten gives him a sixteen hundred dollar payout or thirty two hundred dollar payout. A nine cashes him out. Gets, gets his money back and anything else loses. He had, he had a two. Uh, it wasn't even close. And then he just he just, he just just lost it all very quickly. Uh, Chris actually ended up $1,000 up. I don't gamble. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Yeah, Chris doesn't gamble, guys. All of these stories that he's telling are fictional. It's fiction. Yep. Scar didn't lose his money. I, I didn't lose my money. We actually didn't even go to a casino. Oh, yeah. Or I, a club. Why, why would you go to Vegas to gamble when there's so many other cool things like... We all went to church... Church. It was a late service. If you need anything, uh, call me, text Will, either one. Okay, thanks. I'll be out of here. I'll see you later. Are you going anywhere cool today? Church again? Yeah, do you want to go to church? <laughs> okay, do you have... What's did, up? Did you fight $200 to change it? I'll I, change, I can I'll change your fucking flight. But you can change...